Hi everyone, welcome to my video on lymphedema bandaging. One of the most important aspects of managing our lymphedema is to bandage our arms and legs correctly to help drain out that excess fluid. It's a basic part of lymphedema management, yet a lot of people still don't know how to do this. In this video you can see the materials I use as well as the technique used to bandage my leg. Some people may do this slightly differently to how I do it, which is totally fine. So I'll just share with you the way that works well for me. Firstly, I'll show you the materials I use. Let's start at the bottom of the photo. For the first layers, I have my Jobs toe cap, my Malio Train ankle support, which has silicon molds integrated into the sides, which help push the liquid out of my ankle, and a cotton leg sleeve to protect the skin. For my second layer, I wrap the foam roll around my leg. And for my last layer of wrapping, I have short stretch bandages, which you can see at the top of the photo. Okay, so the actual bandaging now. I've already put my toe cap on, as you can see, which I prefer a million times for bandaging my toes because those pesky little bandages always fall off and are super uncomfortable, whereas the toe cap always stays in place and I never get swollen toes. So next I put my Malio train on. I just make sure it fits properly around my ankle bones, actually where I think my ankle bones should be. Next I put my cotton leg sock on to protect my skin from being irritated from the foam or bandages and this has happened to me before and I know that a lot of people do have a reaction to the materials that we use for bandaging so it's a good idea to put this on. And the next thing I do is put on my foam roll. Uh, this is to stop my bandages firstly from slipping and also helps evenly distribute the compression from the short stretch bandages. The foam can also be doubled up over areas that require more drainage. For example, my ankle area, which I haven't really done lately because I have that Maliotran device, which is more than enough support. So I just tuck it in there behind my stocking and get ready for the next stage. So I have two different lengths of bandages that I use, the shorter one and the longer one. So I'm going to put that down and yep, that's my little hand gesture to show you that we need the short bandages. So I'm going to start wrapping around my foot now and basically I start around my, le my foot sorry, and start going up my ankle and I use a bit of a crisscross method to make sure that it doesn't slip around my ankle and as you saw there I just kind of move my ankle up to make sure that it's comfortable and not too tight. So going up my leg there and you can see I'm sort of going down with that bandage as indicated and coming back up. So that's the crisscross technique that I use. The bandages should cover about 50% of the bandage below to give it even coverage and even compression. So we're still going up my leg here and still doing about 50% coverage of the bandage below. And every now and then you just kind of need to smooth your hand along the bandages to make sure that they're nice and smooth, there's no crinkles in them for even coverage. I bandage all the way to the top of my thigh because I have swelling throughout my whole leg. But as I get to the top of my thigh, I really reduce the tension in the bandages because this area needs to be a lot less restricted in order to help that liquid flow out of your leg. I do a second layer of bandaging using the same techniques that you saw just before, except that the second time I go in an opposite direction to that of the first layer. It's best if you can keep your foot at a 90 degree angle so that the bandages don't move when you stand up. It's also really important that you don't wrap your leg too tightly because this can cut off the circulation in certain areas and be really uncomfortable. I've done this a few times, usually around my ankle or around my knee, and I've had to rip the bandages off during the night because I was in a lot of pain. 
It should have a firm consistency with minimal give. Once you're bandaged, your leg should feel pretty comfortable and you shouldn't have any pain or discomfort. I finish my bandaging by folding the cotton leg sock down over the bandages to help keep the clip secure, otherwise it tends to fall off during the night and my bandages unravel. Well, I hope my little video helps some of you who are new to bandaging. It does take a bit of practice to get it right, but once you do, you'll be seeing some really good results. If you want to connect with me on social media, please check out the information below. You can follow me on Instagram or you can check out my blog.